Greetings and salutations, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking through my thought process and explaining why I am making all of the decisions that I'm making in a ranked game of the finals. So I've done one of these videos as a light and I did one as a medium, so now I'm going to do one as a heavy. I'm just going to go over a couple of fights and everything I do and my teammates do to win the fight. So first up, we see someone capturing Cash Out D over here, which we have, and we are obviously defending it. Uh, we are defending it from a little bit far away, but we do have good sightlines on it. Note that I don't shoot at this mesh shield because I've got a flamethrower and I don't want to just RPG that mesh shield. I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to let my teammates come get rid of it. Um, get rid of the mesh shield, I mean, and then maybe I can push in afterwards or something. So I also throw a dome shield there. A dome shield is what I mean, by the way, not a mesh shield. Um, I throw my dome shield there because I'm pretty sure I heard a light back here somewhere. I think they actually might have taken a little bit of health off my heavy, um, or I heard them anyway. Um, and then I just RPG them because I can see them in that little corner. And I do chase them quite far here, but I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to kill them. Like 1v1 light versus heavy probably isn't going to go so well for the light, especially if they're quite close to you, and especially if you've got a flamethrower. So I do go quite far away there, but it's kind of okay because I got the elimination, and now it's a 2v2 with my teammates, so it's very okay to do that. It's very okay to kind of go a little bit far away and get a kill, I think. Um, so now I'm going to try and rest my teammate. I don't see any way up to the right. I don't see any way up here. So I'm like, why don't I place a barricade and then just climb it? Um, that's exactly what I do. And now I'm going to try and res my teammate. And then we're all going to go to the cash out and try and get that back afterwards. So always res your teammates in this situation. We've still got time left on the cash out. We haven't wiped the enemy team, but now we're all going to be nice and comfy in this corner. I'm solo queuing, by the way, and I'm not using voice chat or anything. So the heavy chucking a dome shield there is very, very, very good. Um, and I'm going to put some barricades down. I'm going to chuck my dome shield down. And we're just going to steal this. It should be like a 2v3 or a 3v3 here. I I'm not sure if the enemy teammate, the enemy um, on light got rezzed. Um, but either way, they're going to have to push us like crazy to be able to stop uh, to stop me from getting this. Um, and now my teammate is going to be mesh shielding as well, which is very, very good. And you just can't stop that. Like, there's really no way to stop that. So that was like beautiful coordination from my teammates there and from, um, yeah, well, just from my teammates. Like the mesh shield, the dome shield and the barricades is going to be very, very difficult to get past. And also, like, they have no time on the cash out to get that back. Uh, so even if they wipe us here, it doesn't really matter. So that's just a fight where we don't actually win the fight. Like, there's there's two ways of winning a fight. One of those ways is wiping the entire enemy team, right? And then the other way is getting the cash out, because you've basically won that fight, because this is an objective-based game. Um, so we won that fight by just getting the cash out. Um, and we've got two heavies on our team, so Dome Shield, Mesh Shield, and Barricades are going to make it very, very hard for the enemy to stop you from stealing the cash out, especially if they don't have any lights that's going to stun you or anything. Um, and I did kill the light, I'm not too sure if they got revived or not, but we just didn't get stopped there. Um, and we were able to successfully get the cash out. And now I'm going to go on to the next fight, which is right here. So I was looking... Hold on, let me, let me go back a little bit. Um, I'm looking up here because I think there's someone on this banister. I'm not too sure how I know that. I probably saw them like a second ago um, and I'm getting shot from the left as well so I just back out through here. I have a quick little look over on the side um, and I can't see anyone so I throw some goo because there was another goo barrel that I could pick up afterwards so I might as well use them both and I'm just gonna try and go to the cash out so that, that that's my plan here. Um, I try and throw the goo by the enemy that was up there. Hold on I'll go back. There's an enemy through that vent and I try and throw this like this looks like a good throw to me um, I try and throw this goo by that wall, but I simply don't think it works. I think it just goes here instead, which is a little bit weird, but anyway. And now I'm just going to dome the cash, the cash out because there's no one here. Like, one enemy is over there, one was over on the right somewhere at that window. Um, they're, they're simply not here. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. I'm going to place these barricades down, I'm going to dome it, and I'm going to try and get it. And this is the same team, by the way. It's the same uh, match we're doing this fight in. So I've got two barricades, there are two dome shields here. Teammate can probably mesh shield if they need to, and we just get the cash out. Um, and now we're in a very, very, very good position for the rest of this fight, and we're just going to see how it plays out, really. So there's a heavy over there, um, and I missed this RPG. I tried to RPG through the wall, 
And my reticle is... Oh, maybe I just missed the shot a little bit. The RPG does have some dispersion. I thought the dispersion messed up the shot. Um, but I think I just missed there. So that was poor for me. I should have maybe ADS'd or not been so hasty with that because that's destroyed half our cover. Um, and that's really just not that good. So that's definitely my fault there. And I shouldn't have done that. I was very, very hasty with that RPG shot. Um, a teammate dies and I'm going to go down to res. I'm going to try a risky res. And then I see a heavy and I'm like, okay, this heavy is probably low because my teammate was just shooting at them. Um, well, they probably were shooting at them. And what I'm going to try and do here is charge and Sam, go to the right of this wall. And then I'm going to like snake back to them and then try and hit them with the charge and Sam. And then I'll be up close with the flamethrower because everything else is on cooldown here, right? So I've only got flamethrower and charge and Sam. So I'm going to try and get up close and then flamethrower them. Uh, but unfortunately, there are stairs here. So I just end up falling all the way down, which is a little bit unfortunate. They follow me and then I'm like, OK, both my teammates are dead. We're halfway on the cash out. I should probably try and get back up. I'm not going to try and focus on killing this heavy. But then I see them coming back up the stairs and I kind of have to. I don't have much other option. I'm going to dome because I think they're going to push me. Um, sure enough, they do. And then, you know, flamethrower goes through dome shield. Actually, my bullets would have gone through the dome shield normally anyway. Um, and I am able to get that kill. And now, one teammate's got three seconds on their totem. They are going to coin because someone's stealing the cash out. It's purple. Um, which I think is a different team, but it might not be. So one teammate coins, which is a good, this this is a very good time to coin. Um, and an, another teammate is going to coin as well, because it would have been rough for me to rest them there. And I'm going to go straight for the cash out here, because I don't see anyone. I see two mines. I'm going to place two barricades, and then I'm going to dome. And I do hear some lights some point here. So I'm thinking... Maybe a light is about to stun me as I'm trying to get this, but I kind of think it's okay because I'm probably just going to be able to get them with my flamethrower. So that's what I'm thinking as I'm seeing this. Someone starts shooting. I turn around. There's there's two lights, I think. Something blows up. I'm not too sure it blows up, but the floor blows up. Um, and I'm just trying to spam my flamethrower here. Again, I use the charge of sound and the stairs go away, which is unfortunate. I get this RPG on this light. Um, and my teammate is by the cash out. So I'm thinking that... It's going to be okay for them to steal it and we'll still get it. And I'm thinking this light's going to come back through here because there's some very nice stairs that lead up to that cash out. So I'm hoping my teammate is going to steal this cash out. This light comes back through this door. I get that kill. And then my teammate is able to steal the cash out without any problem. I've got no idea what this person is doing over here. My medium kind of goes off to, to cash out B here and does their own thing. I've got absolutely no idea why. It's a very poor decision. Always stick with your team. They're not going to be able to get cash out B as a solo, right? It's just not going to be good to do that. Um, so me and my heavy are here. We're at cash out A. Um, and I'm kind of sticking to this plan of killing this light when they come back through. I missed the first shot. I think they actually missed their stun, which might have been bad. Teammate doesn't steal the cash out. I think it falls down or something, so it cancels. Um, but they are going to be able to do it now. I did have one barricade here. Um, but I, I didn't really want to place it because it might mess up the steal. Like if you've got goo grenades or something and you throw them by the cash out when a teammate's stealing, sometimes it messes it up and that would literally cost us the game here. It actually wouldn't because orange is getting the cash out. Um, but if pink was getting the other cash out, then, then it would cost us the game. Um, so I didn't use my barricade there. I do have a dumb shield now, but I didn't when I was, uh, standing in front of my teammate. But I was standing in front of my teammate, so, you know, if someone tried stunning him or something, then we would still get get the cash out, and, uh, then we get it, and now we are going to finish in first place. So, there's two fights there, where basically me and this heavy, well, this heavy and I, I suppose, have quite good coordination, and we just dome the cash out, mesh shields the cash out, barricade the cash out, and make it very, very, very hard for our opponents to get it. And also, I mean, I just get a couple kills and take some enemies out. But at, at, in this first fight, we don't kill um, the team. We don't wipe the team. We just get the cash out. And then in the second fight, I think we um, just... Well, we get the cash out here without wiping the enemy team. And then that makes it harder for them to push us because then they've got a little bit more pressure on them. Uh, so as a heavy, just running up to the cash out, just like walling it off completely and then going for the steal is going to put a lot of pressure on the enemy team and it's probably going to turn the situation around in your favor. Um, so yeah, I don't really like playing heavy so much. I don't think they're that powerful if you're not in a coordinated team. Obviously, if you're like trio stacking and using comms, then mesh shield's going to be super powerful and heavy is going to offer a lot more. But I think as a solo, heavy is going to be... Um, not so fantastic. I think you're going to get more value out of medium or light uh, if you're solo queuing and also not using comms. So I, I don't really like playing heavy so much, but if you get teammates that know what they're doing and they can, like, 
you know, kind of coordinate well without using any voice chat or anything like that, like my heavy in this match, um, that you can st still do very, very well, obviously. So, um, yeah, I, I, I did one of these videos as a light, I did one of these videos as a medium, so I thought the next obvious step was to do one as a heavy as well. Um, I think we get knocked out in the next round, actually, but, you know, this got us through two rounds anyway. So, um, yeah, there you go. Just wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to be it for this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Farewell.